say very sincerely and from the depths of my heart, thank you very much. Because every time we called you and asked you for a check, you said yes. Every time we called you and asked you to host another party, you said yes. Every time we asked you to ask one of your friends to write a check, you said yes. So you were there for Claire, and I want to make sure you understand that Claire has always been there for us as well. When, if you go back in history, when we had the, the catastrophic gay marriage ban in Missouri, Claire stood with us to fight against it. When we had Don't Ask, Don't Tell, you may recall that Claire probably had the single most aggressive questioning of the military under Don't Ask, Don't Tell and helped lead to its repeal. And now, and now I think all of you know that Claire stands squarely with us for marriage equality. Let me use her own words. I find myself unable to look my gay and lesbian friends, colleagues, and staff in the eye without confronting their inequality. Supporting marriage equality is simply the right thing to do. So whether it be Claire, her kids, and by the way, her kids, when this quote came out, her children said, we do not understand why your comments about marriage equality are so controversial. So I wanna make sure that we all understand this. Claire, her kids, all of us in this room, and all of our families who have worked for marriage equality, we are on the right side of history. Right after, the, right after the election was over, so many people had helped Claire come from behind and win an historic event where she won more votes in the state of Missouri than anyone had won in quite some time. So we had a small party at our house for her, and Claire came out, Claire and Joseph both came over, and, and Claire made some wonderful remarks and thank everyone for what they've done. And I want to just take a moment that at that point in time, Claire stopped the meeting and said, I want to make sure that I thank Terry and Tom. And Tom is my partner, you heard from the University City School Board. And she said, I want to show you my definition of a family in Missouri. And it's Terry, Tom, our daughter Grace, and our son William. And to me, that is our friend. I hope that you will join me tonight in welcoming a former member of the Missouri House, the former Jackson County Prosecutor, the former State Auditor of the State of Missouri, and now the Senior United States Senator from the State of Missouri, Claire McCaskill. long for me to even talk about how long I've been doing this nonsense. 
My kids have kept me grounded. And when I was beginning to think I was a big deal, my kids had a way of always me bringing me back down to earth. So when I was the first woman elected as the prosecutor in Kansas City, I was, I was kind of full of myself. Yeah, I felt the same way. <laughs> I thought I was a big deal. And I had these young children. And one day my son, who was about seven or eight at the time, I think he was in second grade, so he was seven. Uh, he came to me and he said, Mom, I have to write something about what you do during the day. And I put my shoulders back and kind of puffed up and I said, well, honey, let me explain to you, I am the number one prosecutor in all of Kansas City. My job is to put bad guys in prison. And I have all these people who work for me and all the police come to me because I am the number one prosecutor. There is no bigger or better prosecutor in Kansas City than your mother. About two weeks later, I get a sealed note home from the teacher marked personal. Always a moment to pause when you get the sealed note from the teacher. I open the note and there is a small notepad note from the teacher saying, I thought you might like this for your scrapbook. And there is Austin's paper and across the top on his big chief tablet paper and across the top it says, what my mom does during the day. And the first line of the paper read, my mother is the best prostitute in the world. True story. That's an absolutely true story. in the 